Hello. YouTubers uh, and YouTube fans out there. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I did a show. Actually, yes. No. Yeah, yesterday. Um, well, which would be Saturday. I'm probably not going to post this until Monday. So I did a show, a uh, live show, Saturday. And it was my first live show uh, in a long time. My first solo show, actually. Um, oh, by myself, really, um, singing and playing guitar. Uh, I was pretty nervous. Um, not that nervous. I do have experience up on stage. Um, my experience comes from, I was in a band, uh, a couple of bands, actually. Uh, we did perform live. I was a guitar player in uh, a couple bands. Uh, so we did play a few live shows. Uh, I was in, um, God, I can't remember the last band I was in. It was probably about six years ago, maybe? Six, seven years ago, maybe, was the last uh, actual band I was in. We did play quite a bit of shows. Um, with that, I was, actually wasn't very nervous when we started playing shows. And the reason I wasn't too nervous playing, when I started playing live shows... With them was because there was five guys, including myself. There was me, played guitar. Uh, lead singer, who also played guitar. <coughs> Excuse me. There was a bass player. And then there was the drummer. So, yeah, I guess four guys. And uh, so it was pretty relaxed with that because of the simple fact that you're not the only one on stage. And if you screw up, people aren't going to notice because you still have another guitar player who's still playing the same thing that you're playing. So if you screw up, he tends to take over. Uh, you have the bass player and the drummer. People don't really notice if you screw up uh, and you're in a live band. You can just kind of go with it. Um, after that, I was a DJ. I uh, DJed um, by myself. How I how I started into that was I was a sound tech. I started out as a sound tech for a DJ company. And... Um, one day, uh, one of the DJs ended up quitting, and it was about four hours, four or five hours before he was supposed to actually go on and play a show. Uh, at the time, I was a sound tech for this company for about two years, if that. So I had known the equipment quite well. I uh, also had got to know, um, you know, how to work it, and you know, I seen the DJs work, so I kind of knew what to do. And uh, they told me, that, you know, hey, do you want to DJ for tonight, you know? So I said, yeah, sure, I might as well, you know, whatever. So it took me about four hours to prep for the show, just because I had to do my song, my set list, my songs, get everything good together, get them mixed together, that whole nine. Uh, and I went on, actually, and I performed, and I wasn't really nervous um, to perform. But I went up... Uh, DJ booth, I played, I spent, got a lot of compliments, uh, everybody loved it, they said, you know, hey, I was the best DJ that played there, you know, this, that, about 10 years later, um, I was DJing for about 10 years, and then I didn't really DJ anymore, after, after about 10 years, I kind of got out of it, and, um, you know, I'd been playing solo stuff for, you know, quite a while, been wanting to hit the live scene again um, and just get into solo playing. And I had my first show was um, an afternoon show. It was about 2 o'clock it started. started. Well, I went on a little early. It was supposed to start at 2, but I ended up going about 10 to 2. I ended up starting to play. So it was about 40 minutes set. About a 40 minute set. It was a good show. It's a great crowd. Great crowd. Um, I was nervous all up until the time I got up on stage. And, um, you know, I started feeling good after that point. I uh, started playing the guitar. I brought my Fender, my Fender Strat with me. I brought my acoustic guitar, whole blue, with me. Um, my, my amp uh, extension cord, because my cord for my amp is a little short. Um, my patch cord, that type of thing. And that's all I played with. They had a mic already set up for me. And uh, it was a really good show. You know, like I said, I think my experience um, being on live on stages with uh, previous bands and being a DJ um, 
kind of made me less nervous for it uh, because like I said I uh, had experience um, being alone up on stage when I was a DJ you know kind of having the crowd focus on you that type of thing um, the show the other day was actually pretty pretty packed for her first show I think it was about 40 50 people uh, there so it was a good good turnout for sure it was at uh, a lodge here in town and um yeah so it was a great show i got another show coming up on the 16th it's gonna be a later show it's about uh it's about 5 30 6 o'clock that show so uh you know i learned a lot from the first show which is always what you you do you tend to learn a lot um, from every show you tend to take from every show you tend to grow from every show as well which is what you want to do you want to learn take from it and grow which is what I did I learned big time from that show even though it was a great show everybody loved it I think what I'm going to do for my next show is less originals and kind of just more covers uh, with the show I did I opened with uh, Willie Nelson's always on my mind I did a cover of that <coughs> And then I spent the rest of the time just doing originals, songs that I had written. Um, I gotta get my, kind of hone my songwriting skills a little bit better because they're not that great right now. Uh, songs that I have are kind of crap. I only have like really one good song I think I'm going to use next time. So I'm going to play my original and then I'm going to bust out with a few, uh, few covers as well. So I'm going to try that for my second show, kind of maybe get into a little bit... Um, theatrics in a way I guess kind of more perform as they say so I'm going to try that for the next show uh you know you just learn from every show my advice to everybody that wants to play a solo show wants to get into it start out in a band join a band that's about the best thing to do because like I said it you'll you'll be less nervous if you play with a band You'll get good experience. Um, bands tend to gig more than solos, than solo people tend to gig. Um, so yeah, you'll get a good experience with that. You'll, uh, you know, get a little bit relaxed as well. Or DJ, you know what I did. You know, there's a lot of uh, wedding DJs and shag DJs and party DJs that type of thing. Very easy to get into. You know, once you get up there, you start working on that mic. You know, you start making announcements, you know, talking on the mic, pumping up your crowd. Gives you great, great mic work as well as, um, you know, just gets you right into it. And just gets you the experience being on stage. And, you know, so once you start gigging solo, you'll be more relaxed, you know. So I'll keep you guys informed on the, on the next show and I don't know, hope you like this video. Good one.